So in my last video, I had mentioned how I wanted to do solar for the shed. I already have a 60 watt panel, but it's not quite enough, and it's just sitting on the ground. So my goal was to put some on the roof, but I also mentioned that I couldn't find any anywhere. Like I was just having a hard time finding a place to buy them and not pay crazy amount for shipping. Well, I managed to find some on Amazon. They were about 318 bucks for two 100 watt modules from Renogy. So I bought four modules in total, and then the brackets and all the accessories, and it came out to just a, a bit over $900. So I figured that was decently reasonable. Now I still have to figure out how to mount them. And I was trying to see if I could do it yourself or whatever, but I decided, you know what, in the end, it's better to put a proper mount. Because basically it has like a piece of flashing that goes under the shingle. And then the place where you light bolt it is built into the flashing, so it's raised. And then when you put your bolt in, it kind of has a seal around. So basically when the water comes down, it won't leak. I mean, my idea was to maybe use like an L bracket or something, but then the heads of the bolts would be completely exposed. And even under the bracket would be exposed. So a lot of places for water to possibly get into. I mean, obviously I would use a sealer, but even then, over time, it might degrade. So I spent another 200 bucks on getting some mounts ordered and shipped here in Canada. Even that was hard to find. I just couldn't find them anywhere. I finally, after a couple days of research, I finally found a site that sells them and doesn't charge too much for shipping. So I went with those. So here's the panel right here. You can kind of see it behind me. So I should be able to fit four on, on there, no problem. And I might even get two more, I'm not sure. Now as far as the racking system to install them, I still haven't decided how I want to do it yet. I have ordered 8 mounts, so I have a general idea of the structure. I'm just not sure if I want to use like Unistrut or if I want to just build it out of wood. Because this project is starting to get quite expensive, so I might just build it out of wood, paint it, treat it, and hopefully it'll be good for years to come. But if I do Unistrut, then that's probably the proper way of doing it. Yeah, so the goal is for this to power the inverter in the shed for the AC electrical system, which will power the lights and plugs. And eventually I want to put some lights outside, maybe security cameras and that kind of stuff. So I would kind of like this to work all year round, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work in the winter. Like I'm obviously going to have to go there and keep taking the snow off. So I might just get lazy and stop doing that. And I might just turn off the inverter and maybe even bring the battery inside. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is pretty much it for this video and this was just meant to be a quick little update on what my plans are for this. So I'm still waiting for the mounts to come in and when they come in I'll install them and decide what to do for the racking and go from there. So have a good one.